close that. Here we go. All right, starting ten seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and here we go. Red Alex, what's up, man? Lake of Lava, how's it going? Other people streaming this match. It looks like Ali Gamer is also streaming this match. He'll be the Spanish streamer. So if anyone else would like to watch in Spanish, go ahead. Don't be getting some quick bridges up, as well as Punishers, most likely. So they'll be running across. And we'll see how teams are going to handle meeting up in this middle middle area. Let's see teams rushing. Looks like Dopamine's going to be the first of the front lines. Probably going to get those shots off onto those diamonds. Let's see. One down. No one still firing. And down. And we've also seen them defuse both their TNTs. So right now, Dopamine is very comfortably in the lead because they have their diamond secured, which means later on in the game, they'll be able to go and retrieve those and bring them back for either defenders or offensive players. So, great start by Dopamine. Punishers a little late to the front lines. Looks like Dopamine to practice that many, many times. <laughs> uh, they got that up very quickly. You see a Punisher, member of Punishers trying to pillar up to those side pillars. Like I said, I'm probably going to see those used to have an early start on sky bridges, but that staircase from the back is probably going to be where they're starting that, since they got that pretty darn far before they got stopped. Uh, height limit on this map, I believe, is 30. So... Maybe a little higher. I, I'm not 100% sure, actually. So, great start by Dopamine. They're really showing their dominance right now in the beginning. Uh, hopefully, Punishers can get a few uh, armored members up here. Again, burning down that forest, like I mentioned. Dopamine starting with their own staircase as well, and progressing much further than Punishers. And I believe, I guess, uh, Sky Limit is much higher than I previously thought. Dax really holding down the front lines, showing he's really a strong front line player. He's an amazing bow shot. He'll be able to hold these front lines with him, Doctor, and who else is up there? We got Breezley. Yeah, they should be. That's a, that's a force I wouldn't want to jump into. So the high limit is 45. Thank you, all lifting. Yeah, well, I did not remember that from uh, testing. Looks like most of the dopamine is all armored up, and uh, it also looks like we have a member bridging over to those diamonds. So get a safe bridge going over there, so they can get those, bring them back, and let's check in with how the back defenses are coming up. Should be interesting. While Dopamine and Punishers are fighting for this mid-game, uh, middle of the map, early game. What's up, Matt Susan? All right, so back defense is nothing crazy to, so far from uh, from Punishers. Look like they just set up a simple wall or two, uh, just for now. Probably gonna be getting players on that relatively soon so they can evolve those a little more. But they are winding the staircase, so. Master Basket, trying to get up here, get some dominance, because Dopamine has a much higher staircase than they do, and it's already got, they got the staircase on, so they can sprint up and down that, no problem. And it looks like Dopamine is electing to do the same thing with the back defenses, where they're just kind of setting up walls and hoping that the front lines is going to be enough. So if anyone gets over, it's not going to be too much of a struggle to get into the war room, but they're kind of banking on that front line slash mid lane hold. I believe both teams are going for that. We got Pillar up to Skybridge Height on... We have uh, pillar from Punishers going up to Skybridge Height, and I believe on this map it'll be interesting to see how proximity comes into play because both teams are going to be getting kills like right in the middle of the map. And until we get that initial touch, uh, you know, once these middle islands are either connected or these Skybridges connected, you see that kind of sway where teams are going to be pushing forward, getting a close proximity to the uh, war room by getting kills, and then maybe other teams pushing back and get it, getting back. And uh, I think as the match goes on with only 45 minutes, we'll see proximity come into play a little more than normal. Especially with teams of this caliber, they, they will be struggling to uh, advance against each other since they're both are very highly skilled teams. And as we can see already, I mean, this mid lane is just a constant fight. No one really getting dominance. Uh, Dopamine has a little higher of a staircase, but Punisher's getting their own pillar up. So they, they decided to go right for the straight pillar just so they can get up here at at the uh, equal height of dopamine and hopefully get the skybridge star from themselves. And the other good thing about this pillar is they've started it much closer to their front lines, whereas dopamine staircase started a little deeper into their into their uh, lane. So if Punishers ever get control of this, it might be easy to hold dopamine there because it's much further onto their side. Whereas if dopamine got control and they ended up over by this pillar, they're not quite so far and they would have to advance much further to get towards those worms. Um, now let's see, we have some frontline defense coming in from the Punishers. They're digging out a little bit of a pit. Just so it probably set up a wall, some crafting benches, maybe some slabs. And uh, dopamine setting up that frontline defense. Let's see, let's see. Got something going on here with uh, King Oros. Let's check this out. Yeah, okay, so King Oros is someone to keep an eye on. He's loaded up the TNT minecarts. And uh, he's got quite the setup here. I think it'll be 
I think I want to keep my eye on him because I think something interesting is about to happen. Uh, we might hear a big bang and we'll look over and watch him. Let's see, he's got something going on. He's setting up these mi rails and he's got plenty of those TNT minecarts. So I think we all know where this is going, but I would just love to watch this happen. So let us see here. Still battling over that mid lane, but yeah, I'm going to just hang around back here so I can see what these players are up to. Dopamine, well known for their <laughs> next level strategizing. Well, they're, they're coming up with really fun, creative, and kind of quirky ways to uh, get an advantage on the battlefield. So I think we'll see something just like that on uh, going on right now. Uh, as of right now, Dopamine trying to get this defense set up, and Punisher's really getting that Archer Tower set up. Should be able to hold that pretty well. Maybe uh, stop Dopamine's progress, but Dopamine doesn't seem to be advancing Skybridge. They're doing the same. They're just kind of sitting at Archer Tower, staying comfortable, and uh, shooting back and forth. Not a lot of forward progress coming in from either team. Hopefully we get this going relatively soon. Kratan and King Oros seem to be like high-fiving or something. Just trading. <laughs> really want to see this happen. And it looks like it will be beginning relatively soon. Say so Kratan might be an idiot. Or he might not. Okay, he's supposed to be down there. <laughs> okay. He's loading up that rail with my carts. You can't see, but he's actually placing several TNT my carts in that one spot. And uh, this will most likely be the beginning of this, this fun times. Let's see. Let's see. Here we go. And look at that. So. In about three seconds, Dopamine has an amazing frontline defense where they have this huge pit that they'll be able to fortify, evolve, and really hold, and that should be their forward defense, where instead of going strong on those back defenses, you can see they have one back defender sitting here in the middle. He should be able to hold his own, pick warrior. He should be fine holding this, but with this frontline and this pit, that's going to be an insane obstacle for uh, punishers to have to advance past on ground, whereas if, if neither team can get Skybridge control, getting past those these frontline defenses is going to be really key later on in the game. And you can see Punisher setting up their own frontline defense. They have a pit, not quite as big, but uh, with a pit and with some crafting benches, the most likely button that up, slabs, and everything like that. It was 16 mine carts, eight on each side. They fly over to the sides and get rid of basically the whole length of the lane. And now with that setup, uh, dopamine most likely was uh, holding off on doing anything too crazy on front lines before they got that set up. Now we'll most likely see some advancement coming in so that they can. Get that frontline defense set up, and once they're done with that, we'll most likely see a lot of uh, strong skybridge play, or maybe some quick rushes over the mid with some strong, strong offense coming in from dopamine. Uh, we still, right now, basically tied with proximity kills. I mean, everyone's in the front lines. Not a lot of kills are happening because, you know, at this point in the game, everyone's ar armored up. You're just getting, you're just taking pot shots. People hiding behind, you know, walls. But here we go. So we're gonna start seeing some advancement coming in from both teams. Punisher's trying to advance that staircase, but taking that by Shahard, no problem. And here comes. Malpa, I believe, or Manelp, excuse me, to advance. And like I said, Dopamine not choosing, just sticking Shahard up here in these Archer Towers. We've seen throughout the tournament, these Archer Towers, especially with the lowered height limit, like having a team just set up an Archer Tower of one, maybe two people up in there can really slow the progress for any other team, even from front lines where, you know, such maps such as uh, Next Gen, where you have someone sitting on the roof, you can stop staircases on front lines or sky bridges from the other side. It's a very powerful position, but not a very progressive big issue. Pro progressive position you're most likely just going to be sitting there not for the whole game but it's 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 more of a defensive position than an offensive position and we haven't seen either team really take any offensive positions so far this match uh they're most likely all just trying to get everything they want to get set up set up so that they can be prepared for later on in the game when those pushes do happen they'll be able to defend and it won't require nearly as many people to defend once those pushes happen uh, so those frontline defenses are going to be key. Back defenses, again, not very strong, but it's going to be just that little bit. So when players get to the war room, it's just that extra maybe 5 to 10 seconds that they need to take that might allow you to get behind them and kill them. Um, especially once these bridges are complete out of spawn, you might be able to just zerg out of spawn since the war rooms are so close. And there's another reason why those bridges were added is because before spawns were so darn close to the war rooms, you know, it was really, really tough for people to get into the war rooms because... You could just constantly just naked rush and, and basically pain loop people that were trying to get into your wall, especially with uh, teams 
uh, digging out of the side of spawn and going right into the war room or even just coming out your door. It was very difficult to spawn block. And uh, yeah, Matsuzan, I agree. Uh, I'm sure funny of you have heard about Breezley's uh, ridiculous bridging. He he bridges without holding shift. Let's just put it that way. Hopefully we'll be able to see it put into play and I'll point it out definitely because it is really a sight to see. It really is a sight to see. Uh, Curtain actually getting a kill, so that's amazing. Uh, he should quit now while he's ahead. Uh, so great game for him, I mean, honestly. I mean, just with that one kill, he should be happy. Um, but again, just not a lot going on. Really, just this is just a constant frontline battle. You know, just both teams trying to hold where they're at. Not a lot of advancement. Uh, Punishers are trying to advance the Sky Bridge, but nothing really amazing happens because they have Curtain and EM3 up here, really just stopping any and all progress. So I think what either team should do relatively shortly is maybe hop down to this mill area. Oh, it looked like Edrix was about to bridge over, or possibly get some quick staircases going up. If you can get a staircase dominance right in this mill lane, you can get held down from those guys in. You can get uh, held down from the guys in the Archer Tower, but being able to Zerg and really quick over. But look at this, Shahard pushing it into that middle lane just like I spotted. He has been spotted by Alien Minecraft, so he'll be most likely be taken out. But, uh, oh, Shahard actually surviving that. But they know he's there, they're where he's there. But good play by him, just as I was talking about it. <laughs> no, bro, I am, I am not. And thank you, Lake of Lava. Yeah, <laughs> true, Koivin. Um, so, uh, good play by Shahard. Basically, pretty sure he heard what I said, so he went straight for that play. But... Uh, should see him being taken out relatively soon, but he has taken off. He's making a break for it. He's jumped out of his tunnel. He ran right past one of the defenders, but he still has to make it past his frontline defense. And not a lot going to be accomplished there, but good try by Shahard. Uh, it's going to be plays like that that we'll see turn the tide of the game. Because one player alone, you know, he, like just like that, he made it past what five, six, maybe four or five members of Punishers without being spotted. One guy taking a dive in the lava. <laughs> He's yeah, it's no fun. Um, but so plays like that from Shahard, plays like that where you can get in, maybe tunnel. Now tunneling is going to be nearly as strong for either team because of course they have these forward frontline defenses set up. Whereas normally, and you can see Dopamine has using Obsidian to fortify these. So tunneling past those is going to be very difficult, especially with that huge pit. Uh, so tunneling not going to be the favorable play here. Most teams are either going to want to push over, or bridge over these frontline defenses, or get that sky bridge going relatively soon. Punishers seem to be pushing for the sky bridge. Uh, they keep sending players up here, trying to get a few blocks, trying to get a few block, trying to get a few blocks here, trying to get a few blocks there. Uh, but really, it's a very, very slow game as it is right now. Uh, but it just shows that both teams are so dominant; they're not allowing either team to get anywhere. Uh, while Dopamine hasn't really tried to advance sky bridge or front lines at all, they have pushed over a little bit. Um, here we have Icorpus. He has been spotted. He'll be taken out. But again, it's even plays like that where you get a sneaky, you get a sneaky in, and then you know, you never know. Uh, it's probably anywhere from like 15 to 20 seconds, by Susan, I would say. Um, it's hard to tell though. It kind of varies. In one sec. Ah, excuse me. Okay. So, nope. She's getting taken out. EM3 really holding this, holding down the fort. Now we have three members of dopamine. Four members. Five, five members. Jeez. Okay, so we have five people up here out for dopamine. Um. Uh. Curtain, I guess, just dropping off some supplies. They got a chest and everything, so they're willing to stay here for the long haul. Uh, they're going to be set up here for the long game, but they're most likely also going to be wanting to expand the sky bridge toward the opposite side. Uh, Punishers right now need to be able to counter this or at least advance something. I believe Punishers right now, with four people up in that Archer Tower, a ground push would be... would be... Uh, not the worst idea. They... Dopamine does have several members here on front lines, but if Punishers are able to get three, maybe four members across right now real quick, they might be able to take out those frontliners, rush to the back, and uh, before those people from the Arch Tower can get down, they might be able to get a quick touch or maybe uh, cause some havoc for Dopamine. But as of right now, both teams are really just kind of playing into each other's hands. They're both just shooting, not a lot of things are happening. They're, both teams are letting each other get their defenses and their whole kind of game get really set up. So, ooh, Master Basket, bad choice. Uh, and good coordination by Dopamine being able to single him out. You saw just all the team, uh, all the arrows just rain in, and it uh, just good coordination on them. But both teams are just they're they're progressing so far, and their their defenses are evolving so much. It's going to be so much difficult, so much more difficult from for teams to advance past those later on in the game. Uh, as it stands right now, you know, not a lot of progress, but 
again, these frontline defenses are really going to come into play later on in the game when you start seeing six, seven man pushes possibly. Um, I believe, if I had to guess, I would say first team to get a touch is probably going to be the one to take this game, especially with only 30 minutes remaining, 15 minutes already gone from the clock. Uh, it's, unless we see something, you know, unless we see either team start doing some really serious pushes relatively soon, uh, so it's going to be a bit of a slow match where it might be, you know, just a duel between who doesn't win, the, who doesn't lose the fight when they finally push. Uh, it should be interesting to see. But now as we have dopamine, we have a couple members uh, falling off of that arch towers. We have a little bit of a stronger front line. So hopefully we can see a big play coming in from that soon. Especially with Punisher's front line being relatively weak. They're only having two players up here. They have uh, one kind of in the back lanes, maybe like mid lane. And then three members up here on the uh, staircase slash sky bridge. Uh, finally dopamine going in. EM3 trying to advance this. Advance the sky bridge a little bit. and But again, Punisher's is able to hold them down from that arch tower, from their own staircase. And uh, it really makes it... And it uh, really makes it difficult to see. Yeah, Gabe is awesome. I will be, Gabe, I will be uh, keeping my eye out for that as well. I, I'm well aware of that, and uh, if I ever see it, I will be sure to point it out. Uh, Gabe, if you could post, if you, you could post a link to that thread if you would like. It is a very interesting thread. Uh, <laughs> we shall see. Again, right now, back defenses really aren't much. Just a wall. Uh, both teams are relying heavily on these frontline defenses. X the legit gamer X I believe, but it's spelled with like threes and stuff, so I don't really know. Four members of uh, Punishers up on the Sky Bridge. We're only two being up here for dopamine. Uh, it seems like they've elected to fall back from that, trying to stop advancing. Step J, you're late. Yeah, you are. Only 15 minutes, so eh, 17 minutes. Not that bad. Not a lot has happened. Uh, you missed an awesome uh, TNT minecart. Uh, they basically dug out this whole pit with TNT minecarts in about five seconds. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, how's it going? All right, punishers again. And it's interesting also how both teams have set up where neither of the sky bridges are going to meet immediately when they start going forward. Uh, they will probably be be connected at some point in the game, but both teams really taking their time with how they're handling this and really, you know, getting one block down, two blocks down maybe, and then falling back. But, oh, a big push coming in from some members of Dopamine, it looks like. But, looks like it was I-Corpus and he was stopped. Okay, so just one man push, but, again, even being able to cause that much havoc, you know, or, uh, have a little bit of chaos on front lines, is good for dopamine because it'll draw people off of the sky bridge off such staircase, maybe off of this uh, archer tower, tower, and give them the chance to advance that sky bridge. And punishers could do the same. I mean, if they send one member over, maybe have a few members of dopamine fall back to defend while a player you know rushes over, possibly trying to cause some chaos. It could give them the perfect distraction to advance that sky bridge a little bit further. And uh, you know, every little bit counts, especially with both teams like this. You know, people are always landing shots. You, you know. Advancing is going to be much more difficult because both teams are so dom dom dominantly strong and it's going to be really difficult. See, we, we see uh, Punishers getting you know, one block here or one block there and Dopamine really taking their time. And let's see if we can see where those diamonds ended up. I would most likely believe a Pikmin Warrior has a full set of diamond armor as well as uh, this Orc Eye Corpus just respawning. So. Yeah, and that's another thing to consider, Matt Susan, it's a great point, is Dopamine has all of their diamonds from those islands, while they did manage to get rid of the Punishers, all the Punishers diamonds, the Punishers don't have any, so a decent, uh, like, three-man push with full diamonds, they'd be able to tank so many more hits, and the Diamond Swords would really be able to inflict a lot of damage, and it could be a useful strategy for them to get over and really use it as a way to get over. Getting taken out. Will be interesting to see once these sky bridges are a little further, a little more advanced. Uh, we'll see if maybe punishers are gonna either try to bridge over and jump onto dopamines, or if dopamines are gonna try and connect and get rid of theirs. It, uh, it will be interesting because it's a team decision whether or not they're gonna want to try to control sky bridge or try to get rid of the other team's uh, advancement. Uh, it is different. It is an interesting choice because again, both teams have decided to staircase up to their sky bridges. So once you get that, you know you could just drop some water down. You know, dopamine has put signs all over their staircase. It's very smart. It'll stop the water flow. 
but it's still something to think about. It'd be much easier to control. Whereas with the pillar, you know, once you get that, it's just you know people can just, just climb up the ladder and zerg up there. Whereas the staircase can be a little bit longer, a little easier to control possibly. So, if you guys had to guess in the chat, who do you think is coming out on top in this match? And then also, let's see, who else is playing in round 4? We have Impact vs. Phoenix, what do you guys think of that? Punisher vs. Dopamine, which is what we're watching currently. Lung Love vs. Beijing, and Game Mode 1 vs. Sigma. Post your predictions in the chat. I'm curious to see how you guys think. Uh, if I had to guess, just knowing the team, as long as uh, Punisher is... Well, here's the thing, is... I would most likely say dopamine, but if Punisher is able to get this sky bridge, as long as they're able to hold it, it might be able to use this as an offense. But knowing dopamine, they're very, sh very sky bridge dominant map. Uh, map team, not map. <laughs> they're very sky bridge dominant team. So if, even if Punishers are able to get a sky bridge up, I believe dopamine will be able to retake it and hold it. Um, they have some amazing PVPers. I'm not too familiar with uh, Punishers, to tell you the truth. I do know they made it this far in, in the. 48 blocks, nice shot king. Uh, they have made it to round 4 in this tournament, which is nothing to bad an eye at. It is very good, good accomplishment for any team, but I believe Dopamine will be coming out with the win on this one. But again, 24 minutes left, a lot of time has passed, and not a lot of advancement is made. Uh, really, right now it's all, you know, it's all just kill proximity is what's deciding this game. Um, for, who, for the streaming schedule, you can go to uh, oc.tc slash forms, and on the left side it should say events, and then you can go to discussion, and there will be something that says streamer schedule, and it'll tell you, and it'll post links to everyone, it'll uh, post links to everyone that's streaming, and uh, what matches they are streaming, so you can go ahead over to there, if anyone would like to uh, post a link to that for me, please, that would be awesome. Uh, but I believe you can also go to oc.tc slash live to see a huge list of everyone that's streaming right now, everyone that's online, and you'll be able to scroll through, browse through, see who's streaming. And it looks like Dopamine Corpus over here is going to be bridging towards Punisher's Bridge, so if I had to guess, they're going to be connecting that Sky Bridge, taking control of it, and using it as their platform to advance their offense. Uh, I Corpus really trying to get a little closer there, trying to connect it so that uh, Dopamine can get several members. I mean, they have six guys up here trying to take control of it, so once they... Once they connect this, they'll just gonna rush over and take out these three, four, you know, members of Punishers. Uh, especially with Punishers on their heels, they're a little bit further back. The bracket, yes, right here. Bracket, I have. Thank you, Stevie. I was just about to post it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good point as well. Uh, MC JRR Ninja. Uh, Having their staircase and skybridge built completely and solely out of wood, uh, flint steel is available. So, you know, I don't know. I believe Dopamine might be able to, might want to take control of the skybridge. Uh, they might reinforce it with non-burnable blocks, but again, they've built their own staircase, you know, with wood and with cobble just next to it. But we will see. Yeah, and there we go. So lava place. So that will be burning down. But good play by Punishers, getting rid of that lava immediately. Uh, so great play with Punishers, but I believe Dopamine doesn't just have one bucket of lava. I'm sure they have several more to where that came from. Hard coming in. And here, he's going in for the for the battle, so he might try to take this. I Corpus just kind of stand back watching. Uh, good sent by Shahard. Maybe all they did have was one lava source. What? Let's see. But again, now this is also this is also interesting because uh, with only 20 minutes, 21 minutes left, I mean, to have another team advance, to have another team, I mean, I think Dopamine got one person onto the onto uh, Punisher side, but they got nowhere. Uh, to have that kind of quote unquote stalemate, not really stalemate, but to have no offensive pressure from either team coming in yet, and with you know only 20 minutes left. Again, they do have to be careful, it's a good point, it's going to flow right onto their front line, so uh, they might have to be careful about that, Keep give their front liners a heads up, tell them to keep their heads up, and keep their eye out for that, because that could be troublesome. Right now, it looks like dopamine might be going 
Might be jumping across to take this, I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to break it, but... It will be tough for them to try to advance their own Skybridge, especially with this Arch Tower up here, uh, coming from Kusei Pro. He's holding them very well, he's doing a great job. And, you know, even if they do take out this, this Skybridge and have it burned down, it is still going to... Can I enter Dopamine's War Room? No, I mean I can, but... Uh, no, this isn't stalemating. It's not stalemating in the sense that it's stalemating, it's just that the match is stalemating. The fact that, you know, both teams are playing really well and they're not allowing either team to advance, really. Um, let's see, it. let's uh, hop into some Umber Rooms. Not War Rooms, but some Umber Rooms. Let's see how Dopamine is holding up first. Let's listen in. Drop down. And then get some kills. Okay, I'm pinning one of the one of the yeah. steals in the chest. The other yeah. one I'm gonna go use. Are we still looking at Dua? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah can can side. Wait, wait. One minute. Okay, nice that. Why don't we? Yeah. And there's still seven yeah, damage blocks that haven't been used. He has. What to do? Is oh, we only have three. <laughs> Yeah, where's the fucking yeah, TNT? It's in the double chest outside. Wait, do we have oh my god, redstone, the fire. right? There we go, nice EM. Nice, nice. Oh, fucking. I'm maybe gonna say fuck you, Kuse, first. No. Sorry. Yeah, no. <laughs> we just need a nice little <laughs> rabbit. I'm sorry, Kuse. Your internet is scheduled for some downtime for maintenance. No. Don't, don't, don't worry about that. that. Where's the. But still, if he gets a rat, like a rat, I'm gonna laugh so hard, like the team. Replacing it with smoke. cobble. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna need to stop that. Okay, how much TNT, TNT do you have? have? A lot. The TNT's not useful for anything else either. 18 minutes, guys. Oh my god. You can space them from there, but you. Yeah. <sighs> These matches are so short. Yeah, we seem to connect, short. we're getting close to connecting here. I could shoot the. Can you shoot the people through the top. corners of the blocks on Skybridge? Yeah. Ooh, fuck. Fucking god, crap. Master basket on. Yeah, left. master basket left side. Yeah. Don't let him kill you. Oh, it's gonna burn, this, burn thing. this thing down. Yeah, nice. peace. Um, what? Um, no one else go risky. No one else go risky. Yeah, I'm on you guys. You guys need to stop. Crap's not uh, here. Shard's not here. Back up. Make sure. Uh, so the very... master basket left side again. He's trying to there's, a, that. there's a lot All of pushing going on in this game. this game. No, 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 I get two shots. I think. And we still have left after that. One more. Take, more. If we can, if I can get lava on, on that steps, we'll be good. Yeah, master yeah, basket. We just need to stop them blocking it off. Instead of me making a push. Max, why don't you shoot it? If we make a push and we knock them off, we can get that lava down, and that would be perfect. Do you want to shoot a deck? Any more people will be up here though, we only have four. Don't get lava shot, please. Who are waiting on to get up to Wait, they're pushing back, guys. There's some of them pushing back. Like, look. There's guys in the... Please. Yes! Fuck you! That's great. Right, now's the time to push. Shoot again, shoot again. Go, go, go. We need to go. We're going, we're going, we're going. Come on. Everyone, Ian's already gone. It's kind of a waste of time, honestly. Oh god, did I just do that? Nice, 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 nice. Oh, they fire at my TNT. It's gonna blow uh, up. Uh, 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 I died from the lava. Still, that takes out a lot of Kusei's Archer Tower. That's good, guys. How many do we have on Skybridge? Not as many as we need. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. Yeah, 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 I see no one up here. Yeah, they have our Skybridge now. What Wait, happened, guys? No, 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 we, we have it. Shut the fuck up. Okay, we have it. Right. Okay. They're no, coming up. Holy fucking artist. Okay, I'm gonna grab a. Oh, okay, killed one. Just help me out with this, and then we can push the sky bridge. King, hello. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. What the fuck? How did he walk through that? That's so bullshit. I'm here. We just need to be super aggressive on sky bridge. Oh, they're, they're being too. Watch out with that using picks and axes, guys. Can someone pin down Kusei? Because he's shooting me right now. Like you guys should, why don't you guys lava that? There, none of them are there. Why aren't you getting it? It is lava. We're just waiting for the lava to spread. All right, so I think that was pretty perfect timing on my part. Um, great job, Viker Dane. That kind of was very intuitive. Uh, maybe timing could have been a little better. Noob. Um, <laughs> press that button a second a little faster. Maybe uh, not a second, but a little bit faster, and it would have taken out, I believe, 
basically that entire thing. Uh, but still, good play by him. Really weakening. Probably was. Uh, probably still uh, very chaotic for punishers to have a cannon fired at them in a CTW match, especially on Race for Victory 1. But if anyone were to do it, it'd be Curtain. Uh, not sure what EM3. Oh, EM3 trying to leak that lava. Not quite enough though. Maybe when that burns. We have. Who's this? We have Nope under here. Most likely not seen. Be interesting to see if he can do anything. Uh, we have Punisher's trying to get back up the staircase to retake it. Uh, but only 15 minutes left in this match, and uh, right now, Dopamine, I'd say, in the lead by about 5 blocks with, uh, with, uh, Kill or, uh, Kill Order. <laughs> I hope they don't have Kill Order. With, uh, Kill Proximity. Uh, I apologize. And again, I just keep coming back to it. These frontline defenses are going to be so difficult to pass later on in the game unless you scarbage over them. It, it's just. I'm not sure. Whereas Dopamines isn't quite as advanced as uh, the Punishers is, but it will be interesting to see either team run into one of those walls and see how it fares. The other strange thing is it seems like uh, Punishers have gotten rid of, unless those the cannon, but it looks like Punishers have gotten rid of the ladder up to PCA Pro's Archer Ladder, Arch Tower. So once he's knocked off or killed, uh, difficult for him to get back up there into that really dominant position. But again, looks like Dopamine just. Um, it's hard to tell if they're trying to take control or if they're just trying to get rid of their staircase, but uh, with Kusei Pro there, and especially with the height limit that it's built at, it's going to be very difficult for him to hold with Kusei there. and. Uh, Members of Punisher continuing to front this bridge and try to take it back. Not a lot happening on front lines. Uh, looks like we had one uh, Punisher try to get over. Yeah, definitely, Corbin. Uh, you know, Punishers might want to think about maybe starting another sky bridge, but they'd be able to be locked down by. Um, by dopamine having so, so many people up on this guy, it would be difficult for them to advance anywhere really. Because uh, these members, you see Jade doing it just now. Uh, he can help block down front lines as well as the staircase and sky bridge because he's able to look down and take get that uh, height advantage and the vantage point to really shoot down on everyone. Uh, Carbon teams can see their own proximity, but they cannot see the others. So dopamine right now can see the fact that they are 96.5 blocks away from lime, 97.5 blocks away from orange, but there is no numbers next to punishers. Yes, yeah, so they can only see their own. Only 12 minutes left, or 12 and a half minutes left. We're gonna need to see either team start doing something, frankly. Um, while uh, while dopamine is very, very slowly and very methodically taking over this sky bridge, not allowing for really any mistakes to happen, they're doing, they've done a great job. Um, looks like Eum does, or Igorpus does know that there's a player there, so Manelp will be taken out. Ooh, nice, nice save. Uh, looks like Manelp it will be able to get over, but again, this will be the first time that he'll be encountering this massive pit, so finally Punisher is able to get a member over, see if he'll be either be tunneling in, which may not be the best idea, he's going to get about 8 blocks before <laughs> someone realizes, but actually Punishers have 2 people here now, I didn't realize they had another player here, so they have Master Basket and Manelp here, uh, but again, they're both going to try to dig out that hole and they're going to find something terrible, I'm sure they both know it's there, and Dopamine definitely know they're there, so... It's going to be tough for them to uh, push out, especially with Pikmin being this hardback defender in full diamond with this big pit where he's going to be able to just kind of bow spam him until he gets support from his teammates. It's a great setup by Dopamine. And I'll uh, try to keep my eye on ba on their back there to see how they're doing. Oh, and I would go into Punisher's Mumble. I meant to say there. I uh, meant to go. I would go into Punisher's Mumble Room, but. They are all muted and deafened and seem to be using some other forms of communication. So I cannot listen into them, unfortunately. But. Looks like some dopamine falling back. Looks like Kratango on it just got some supplies or something. Does look like dopamine is aware that someone's there. Or someone might be telling, but they don't know exactly where. Master Basket and Manelp look like they're ready to go, but I'm not so sure King Oro is just standing here. Pretty sure they're all listening out. Let's see, a 
lava all over the place, getting real messy on the right side from that sky bridge staircase, it's all pouring down. We shall see. It looks like yeah, it really looks like I mean no people some people are here. Kingora is really paying attention. Listening to people, digging down, trying to look, Jay doing the same. And they found their tunnel, so should be interesting. It will be a 2v2, it looks like, so we'll see how this goes down. Yeah, they have found the tunnel. They know it'll be there. Yeah, if Master Baskin and Manel are either able to get out here, get a, get a kill, and then able to push up to Pikmin, they might be able to grab this wall. Although, uh, Shahard is back here, but he has no armor on. But, uh, King and Jade finally getting, looks like Jade was poisoned. Um, so good use by, from the potions coming in from, from Punishers. Still alive, blocking in. But Dopamine definitely knows they're there and will have people are gonna have people fall back and hold that. So I don't, I don't believe Master Best Room will be, be able to advance very far. And uh, Dopamine still have yet to get anyone really further much further onto their side. <coughs> Ten minutes left, nine minutes left. Punishers, that is correct. Punishers did get a kill, and now they are actually in the lead with uh, the proximity. They're leading by 0.3 blocks. Uh, well, they are not. They're 0.3 blocks closer to Yellow Bull. Um, but if they do get a kill here on either one of these teams, uh, if Jade dies or King dies, it will be them in a far, far lead uh, for Punishers. And that's just them. That's just showing that they're very well aware of how proximity works and how they want to be doing it. Don't mean it looks like they're advancing the Scarabage again. But. Let's see, yeah, but that is a great play by Punishers. Ooh, Manop getting shot out. Uh, but I believe Master Basket is still here somewhere. Let's find him. He is where is he? Wow, he had gotten he's gotten much further back. It's probably gonna be tough for Dopamine to find him. Let's see here. He's probably hear him digging around, but it'll be interesting to see if he can do anything. Dopamine pushing a little further up on the sky bridge, uh, advancing. Oh, it looks like they're going to be bridging straight towards Kusei Pro's uh, island here. Let's get back over to Master Basket. Looks like they're getting into a fight. Sounds like it. Let's see. Oh, he has been poisoned. Ooh, that is rough. It's still alive. Still kicking. Ooh, Dopamine has pushed over to Kusei Pro's. They knocked him off. They have taken control of this island. This is huge because this 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 is going to be their forward offense. They're going to be using this to push. They're going to be using this probably to scare bridge in advance and possibly use this to get into either one of the rooms and possibly bypass that frontline defense. But uh, so good job on Dopamine. Hopefully they'll be able to hold that and uh, maybe get that kill proximity because as right now, all right, Dopamine back in lead with that kill shine so uh, by Eum. He has gotten Dopamine back in lead by about three blocks. So this is a really crazy uh, back and forth. Eum three able to push forward. I mean, you got a kill just sh shooting someone like that can get a huge kill. Like. That's where advancing your sky bridge and maybe shooting someone in spawn, you, know, you get that kill proximity and all of a sudden, hey, we're back in the lead. While they don't know that, it may be something they're aware of, so. Great play by them, being able to take that over. Where is Master Basket? How is he still alive? Where is he at now? Let's see. He's gotten much closer to the front lines. Where is he going? Not so sure. But let's see, I mean, really... This is going to be their big play, trying to advance the sky bridge with only six minutes left. Uh, it's probably going to come down to a touch, if not, if not, uh, kill proximity. But we will see. Master Basket is able to pull off something miraculous here. I mean, he only has to get to about this shack. I believe this would be about, you know, a little closer than where uh, Dopamine got their kill. If they were to get a kill here, it would be interesting. Yeah, we'll be keeping an eye out for Dopamine to be pulling out some uh, funny strats here with some TNT minecarts or something. But I believe they used most of it uh, for that initial initial uh, pit that they dug. Let's just go check up on Master Basket one more time. Let's see where he's at. Digging along the side of the map. Okay, he, so he okay, so he did a big U, and he's actually ch completely changed both sides of the map. He changed what side of the map he was on. So that's actually really smart and really funny and really good play. Um, by Master Best there.
Ooh, Grizzly getting taken out, but I think I missed his fast bridging. I wish I could have seen it. I apologize. Um, John, uh, kill proximity means as you advance further into the map, uh, there's proximity. So the closer person to get to the war room. Uh, okay, so the, when you get a kill, wherever you get the kill, you're a certain distance away from the war room that you have to get to the cap. And that is your proximity to the war room. That's your, your that's your proximity. But to get the proximity, you have to get a kill. So when you if a player if a team just like rushes across onto the other team's side and just kind of like rushes the front lines and gets taken out, their proximity isn't like where the front lines are. Their proximity is wherever they get a kill. Um, and they're doing a great job here. Oh, getting Jaden them into the lava. Ooh, uh, Adrix here making a run for it. I, he okay. He has been spotted, but if he gets a kill here, that could be huge. Breezy needs to back up. Yeah, good play by Breezy being up, backing up since he is naked. But Adrix getting a really good combo on Pikmin. Oh my god! But finally taken out. So wow, good tr good play by uh, uh, Adrix there. I would like to see Breezy get it back up here and and uh, do that bridging. I might have caught it on stream, but I didn't see it with my eyes, so I apologize. Don't mean yeah. They've gotten a much further proximity. Probably got a bow kill here up on top, and. Uh, they have a much further proximity here now than Punishers. Yeah, that combo was crazy. Uh, Pikmin you know, getting a really sketchy spot here. Mesh Basket still should be here somewhere. Let's see, where is he at? Yeah, I'm still just hanging out. It'd be interesting to see him. I, I kind of want to keep an eye on him uh, for us the match because I feel like he could pull out some shifty stuff and really get some work done. I want to see Brizzly get back up here and do that bridging. <laughs> His bridging style is ridiculous. Uh, but Master Basket really could change the tide of the game here. Let's get into Dopamine's channel for the last couple of minutes, maybe? Yeah, let's see. I can, like I said, I can't go into Punishers because they're not using Mumble. So let's get into Dopamine. Do we have the iron? That's the question. What you hey, want yeah, we don't have the iron boots. boots. Well, we have the Crescent Boots, but do we have the. Create the Fallen Boots, bring them as well, crap. And make it nice and safe around this area so we can get it yeah, set up. I need to be a little bit lower than this. Okay, we Watch need one more down. You need to be at Y42. Water, water. Y42. Oh, you're kidding. It this is like literally. Blue, blue, doctor. If you just shoot Pitch, they might shoot him. Pikmin, 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 shoot him. Just shoot him, Pikmin, Pikmin. Get a kill, Jade. Get a choke. Kill. Don't let me die. Do not let me die. It's lower, Crate. You can do it now. Oh, Pikmin. Yeah. Holy shit. Um, what about the falling boots? Dax, go grab them. Past the house. Just don't die past the house, Dax. It's fine. If you die, you die. I'm gonna go grab the falling boots guys. and bring them. Pushing really hard on the ground. Yeah, I'm coming back as well, so I should be able to help. There's two of them down here. Who's on front? Someone help me! Someone help me! I'm coming! I'm coming down. Like what? There was just people here, King. Why aren't you down here? We have no picks. Use the other chest. Do not die past there, guys. Get at okay. least past the house. They're trying to use they, the instant damage potions, we they should they use that as well. Next. This guy's lagging really hard, I'm gonna die, there's no way I can kill this guy, he has a knockback and he's lagged out. Look at this shit. Okay, nice. <laughs> Half a heart. Oh, okay, I'm gonna... I have his knockback sword. Uh, Crap, is this thing set up here? Another naked guy, I'm there, this is right. Just, Just kill him, kill him. bow him, bow him, what, how'd he get up? Yo, yo, <laughs> Yeah, okay, fuck, okay, good. Is All it right, set up here, I'm bringing a water bucket up to... We're just gonna water park it down, and we're gonna another try to kill everyone. Another guy, right below you, Dax. Right below you. Okay. Oh, Put some armor in the down. chest up, it's garbage. Just make sure, guys, do not dive past the house. If you're gonna die, run towards the middle, not a, not towards their base. Okay, let's place water down, and let's all jump onto the ground, and, and make a, a huge push, there's like a five people. On the left, Only a minute and you know. 30 seconds left. There's a tunnel on the right, yeah. too. Okay. We can just we can water down and all the Corp, where are um, you? I'm coming along. I'm trying to kill them in their spawn. I don't have the fifth falling base, though, so... I dropped the fifth falling base right here. Okay, okay. Is, 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 oh, is, oh fuck, I just... You yeah. guys, wait, Jade, do not stand Turn there. On right, you have thanks. no armor, oh, we get lost out, the water. Jade. We need water. We have water in it. Jade, get out. I'll yeah, bring another not, water bucket. Guys, do not just stand in the pit, like, please. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm right behind you. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. We have one minute, come on. Oh, you picked up the boot scrap. Full iron No, Master Mask is here. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh god, no, 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 What the fuck is this? King! Everyone shut up! Everyone fuck. shut up! Guys, you need to go now. They're, they're feeding us in proximity. I told you not to stand there. Is it set up, Crack? Oh, you gotta watch it. Get in there, get in the pit. Get in there, get in it. Guys, go. We need to get kills. What the hell? Get in the thing. They broke it. They broke it. They broke them. We need to get kills. Get in it, Corpus. Get in it. Get in 
Okay, crying. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>